Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So it's Mark from uh, Mark's Gone and um, today I want to do a review on a Alpine jacket from Mountain Equipment, a down jacket. It's called the Mountain Equipment Lightline Down Jacket and uh, I've had this for about six months now. Bought this for my birthday last year and I'm really starting to get some real use out of it into the winter now and uh, I will be um, using this more through sort of January and February and March which is typically our colder months here in the UK up on the mountains of Snowdonia. But I just want to bring to you my initial thoughts I've been wearing this uh, casually and I have used it out on the mountain side so I just sort of put it to some good test a couple of weeks back and I've been really impressed with it. So this is an additional down jacket it's part of my layering system so system. I've got a a wicking t-shirt here and then you've got a, a fin mount equipment uh, fleece here so on, on the outside I'll throw this on the top to part of my layering system but I just want to give you some thoughts on the coat initially and um, I've written down some facts and figures about it so hopefully they'll be uh, useful for you so as I said it's the mountain equipment light line jacket from mountain equipment and uh, this outer uh, outer membrane is called dry light so it's uh, windproof and uh, highly water resistant. And I can vouch for this because this particular material, as all down jackets, most of them are, they're not waterproof fully, so you wouldn't wear this. You'd wear a waterproof over the top of this. This is for more for warmth and keeping the wind down. But this particular um, material here is, is quite very ro uh, water resistant. So it uh, stands up pretty well and it beads off here. So I would say, in, from my experience, this is for light to moderate rain but if it's changeable on top of the mountain this is great you can just get it out your rucksack and throw this over the top and gives you instant warm and then of course you put your your outer shell your, your waterproof over the top of it so in terms of uh, the features really quite a simple jacket you've got this mid zip here which is a two-way zip you can see the bottom I'll just get back in focus there so if you're wearing your rucksack and you want to ventilate you can you know undo it from the bottom upwards and that gives you a, a, a big bit more option around ventilation on the side you've got these uh, side hem cinches so you can again release it if you want to let, let out some more um, of the heat but if you want to cinch it up and keep the heat in likewise either side so that's quite a simple design i like the baffles on this what do i really love this yeah the baffles so this fill is called uh, let me just it's called 700 power fill or power pure down so it's 700 fill power pure down and um, this really has got some nice bulk in it i like the way the baffles look and it really feels that sort of you know a real chunky coat and it's really great it's just instant instant warmth if you put this thing on the top of the mountain it's like flicking the switch you get instant warmth and it's retained keeps you you know nice and warm on top of a mountain is exactly what you want so in terms of the pockets there's two side pockets here they do refer to them as hand warmer pockets but i can't really feel the hand warm material in it it's a kind of a i'll show you the the inner lining but maybe it's uh, just designed that way um so nice two sizable pockets either side and inside the jacket here you've got um a what they call a security jacket so put your phone in there and that's really quite deep so you'd be able to get a, a really sort of one of those bigger iphones in there so uh, not a problem some uh, kit i don't think it's not big enough to have um a map in there but i don't suppose it's designed for that is it really on the hood you've got um as you'd expect from mountain equipment a really good quality hood you can cinch it either side if that's your thing and um, a wired brim on the hood there so um, you can position that to how you want it and on the back you can see you can adjust it you can adjust it using the velcro i think i've said on my other videos i i would only wear my hood in sort of really severe conditions i generally wear as you see that i've got a cabini on that's my thing that's what i prefer really so i think you can actually yeah you can unzip the hood on this if you so wish i just like the look of a hood on your jacket just and then you can just as you can see this goes right up to your chin and it'll keep the wind out it's just fabulous a really nice hood on it so real quality it's going to keep you warm in any windy condition this is a uh, cold condition so really good now in terms of the i just some uh, additional points i've written down here uh, talk about the adjustable cuffs so you can see here on here the velcro 
the Velcro on the mountain equipment uh, coat is going to be good quality. Uh, so this, I'm sure this is going to last it pretty well. I've had other kit from mountain equipment for three years and this stuff is still going strong. So, you know, I've really got no worries or concerns on the quality of this jacket. And also I've mentioned there the hem draw cords on the side. Just an, and the final thing I just want to say, this is uh, well, the, the weight of this uh, jacket this is a heavier jacket than my Skyline orange jacket, which I've worn on a lot of my videos. Um, and that coat is probably slightly more technical, I'd say. This is a sort of a, a nice hybrid jacket, sort of thing you can wear down to the pub, but also on the, on the side of a, a mountain in windy conditions. So uh, the best of both worlds, probably. Now at the moment, just to say this is 2022, it's January. And I know in uh, online, this jacket at the moment is getting some really good discounts. I think there's probably about 60 quid off this coat. So I bought it for 220. You can get it for 159, 160 on Go Outdoors or Cotswolds. We've got some, this jacket is uh, heavily discounted a lot at um, the moment. So I say, if you want a really nice down jacket, which has got some really nice baffles in it, I'll just show you around how it looks. Just a great jacket really love it and um you've got the detail on here the mountain equipment detail here i think there's probably you can see here like the way that is in that panel there as well and uh on the back as well you can see that just from the hood so it's just a nice jacket to have and a great um utility jacket as well so this is going to do its job it's going to keep you warm if you're into hill walking or mountain walking as i'm sure those of you watch my channel are and i just great for the price now 160 is going to be a good addition to your kit list and really um what i would say sort of bulletproof jacket the quality on the mountain equipment is great just love it anyway i hope you've enjoyed this review if you'd like this video if you give me a thumbs up I really appreciate that and if you want to see more kit reviews of the stuff i've bought over the last sort of two years and now i've got some thoughts on it um don't forget to subscribe to the channel it all helps and put the bell notification on so uh, as and when I bring new videos to uh, you can see those and watch those videos as and when they come online. So hope you're all very well. Take care. I'll see you very soon.